<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Snows. Hi, I'm The Shadow Snows and I'm back with another Let's Compare video. Tonight I compare the game Time Runner from Red Red Software on the Atari ST and the Commodore Amiga. And yeah, the title screen looks cheesy and decent at the same time, if that makes any sense. Uh, the game is from... Find keys to open door, collect food for extra energy. Okay. Okay, I can fly. What? I die if I touch. And I'm the only one who finds the sound effects annoying. What the hell? Oh, great. Is there an energy meter? What the fuck? Okay, I am not allowed to touch anything. Oh, fuck. Awesome game. Oh. Yeah. The fly on the screen is probably more interesting than the game. At least it's less annoying. Okay, I'm not allowed to touch that either. Yeah, the really bad thing is that I'm suspecting a lazy port on the Amiga, so I have to play the same shitty game again. Okay, I, I see the energy meter now. What is happening now? Why is it permanently... I oh, know it stopped. Great. What was that? Okay, I'm not allowed to touch the door if I have have the right key. What? Ah. Oh, this is bad. Oh yeah, I'm not allowed to touch anything.
Great. Ah, I've forgotten. I cannot walk down the stairs. Why are there fucking stairs if I cannot walk down on them? Uh, I doubt there will be a next time, at least not on the Atari ST. I'll be back with the Amiga. Okay, back with the Amiga. And that was the noise you were constantly hearing in the background. I already loaded the game. And if you wonder why the sound comes only from one speaker, it's not my usual SCART problem, it's uh, the game. I, I verified that, tried another one, and that came out of uh, both speakers. And I won't say that the Amiga version is better. It's a typical lazy ST port. And the game already was quite bad on the ST, so don't expect any improvements. I don't think there was any anything useful there. The game is far too bad. Oh, fuck. And I find the sound effects a little less annoying on the Amiga than on the ST. Just a little. Yeah, luckily I'm not very good at this game, so the video is not going to be very long. I think I've been here already on the ST version. And can you imagine how annoying it was to get such games on the Amiga in the early days? And the majority of uh, Amiga games in the 80s was of that quality. Oh, why? 
Why? Ah, oh, shit. I've forgotten. The ledge is... Not walkable. Because it doesn't have green slime on it. And this is a power-up that messes with the controls. Do I really care? Yeah, you can guess the answer. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.